Hey guys, so today I'm doing a review and an install of the Moen Magnetics showerhead. So it comes with one big showerhead and then the one that you can take off and move around. Uh, comes with three different settings. You can have just a big one, just a small one, or both together. Um, I got this for 150 Canadian. And here it is. You have this faucet. Now everyone's different, but this is how mine is. So this doesn't work if you just turn it. What you gotta do is see behind here, there's this. So what you wanna do is get a... Okay, so what you wanna get is one of these. You can use any random wrench, but these are specifically made for it. And I would put something over these teeth because these teeth tend to scratch the uh, thing here. So I don't really care. So righty to tight and left to loosen. That's the trick. So let me untighten this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this just came off. So this is the hose. And what you want to do is put these black washers in the hose. Okay, so once you take this off, you want to take off all this old Teflon tape or putty, whatever is on yours, because uh, it won't stick as well. So you want to just take all this off, and because uh, we're going to put fresh on after. Okay, so just rip it off and on to the next okay. step. So next step, once you've taken off all the tape, so it's fresh, you want to loosen this, this right here. So you loosen it so that now this can move and it can rotate. Then what you want to do is screw this onto here. So this is the Teflon tape that I got. Wrap it around, let me do this, and okay. Right. Once your Teflon tape is on, you just want to massage it in a bit, and there you go. You don't need too much of this, just a little bit goes a long way. Okay. This ball is that you loosen, and you wanna put it here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the camera, and I'll break and you screw it on until you can't do it anymore. Hand tighten it, okay? And once you've hand tightened this nut here, you wanna grab a wrench. Um, I'm using this again, the adjustable one, makes it a lot easier, but you can use any wrench. Um, so just go here and right to tight. I'm gonna do that. Now once that's tightened, you wanna tighten this one here. Just hand tighten and that just basically allows you to have a sturdy um, a sturdiness so that way you can adjust this how you like next step is grab your hose and it comes with two washers you want to put one washer on the end do that right here. okay and then what you want to do is screw this onto the bottom here right to tight left you want to do the same with this end of the nozzle you want to grab the hose after that's attached to there I grab this hose and you want to put your nut here as well sorry I'm trying to do this myself um, you want to put the washer there again and then you want to Screw that into that. And that's on there. And then this part just magnetizes to here. And there you go. There is a plastic film that you want to remove. Okay. It's pretty much installed. So there it is. Okay, so here it is. So this is both. You can have both running at the same time. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, and that's, so basically this thing here, you put it up and it goes that to full speed. And then if you go to the middle setting, it puts both of them on. This one does get a little bit lower. Like I'll show you here, I don't know if you can see it, but 
Yeah, it goes a little bit harder. Okay, so middle does both. And then, oh, come on, focus. There we go. And then if you go down, it basically does just that. That still has a little bit of dripping to it, but I think that's just how it is. Um, once the water stops, then it will stop. And then it just goes with that. And then this comes off. And you can move it around. And then this clips on by magnet. And it literally just clips on easily like that. You gotta make sure that your pipe here is pretty long. Because if it isn't, then this will basically hit the wall here. Um, mine's fairly long. So if yours isn't, you can still use it, but you would have to keep it like this. So that way there's more room for the wall. And then it'll it'll basically lay like that, right? So, uh, oh, and also this handle has a sprayer. If you press this, it pauses the water. Technically, I mean, it still comes out a bit. Um, and then there's different settings. So there's this, it's just a little bit less pressure. Then there's high pressure. And then there is just a stream. Then there's a power jet. And there's a super power jet. And that's basically it. So if you guys are interested, please, uh, I have an Amazon link below. That's where I bought it. And uh, that's basically it.